It's a radian measure, which is an alternative way of measuring angles. Certainly when it comes to using calculus and trig, it's radians we want to be using. So the conversion, uh, now the conversion is pi radians is 180 degrees. I find it easier to remember it this way though, because 360 degrees I can associate with a circle, and 2 pi I associate with a circle because circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So in my head I'm thinking 2 pi in circles. So there's the conversion factor. So here's some common ones. You'll see these a lot, sort of do with our exact values of trig. So in our first quadrants, 30 degrees is pi on 6, 45 is pi on 4, 60 is pi on 3, and 90 is pi on 2. Then you move into the second quadrant, and 120 would be the next one, so 2 pi on 3. 135 is 3 pi on 4, 150, 5 pi on 6, 180 is pi. Third quadrant, 210, 7 pi on 6, 225, 5 pi on 4, 240, 4 pi on 3, 270, 3 pi on 2. And that gets us to our fourth quadrant, 300, 5 pi on 3, 315, 7 pi on 4, 330, 11 pi on 6, 360, and we're back to our 2 pi. And of course you could keep going, but I guess what I'm getting at is we will see these ones in a lot of questions because then we can go and use the exact values of our sine, cosine, and tan, and so on. But of course you could get something else. You might get 67 degrees. So how do I put that into radians? Well, that conversion factor. I'll multiply it by pi, divide by 180, 67 pi and 180. Well, that doesn't cancel down, so I'll just leave it like that. 67 pi on 180 radians. By the way, you don't have to have pi in the answer. Radians do not have to be a multiple of pi. Pi is just representing the irrational number, 3.14, etc., etc., etc. So this would be the same as saying 1.1693 to four decimal places, radians. 36 degrees, 36 pi on 180. That one simplifies nicely, pi on five. And so if you want to go back the other way, instead of pi on 180, 180 on pi, and pi's in this case cancel, 22 and a half degrees. And so again, there's no reason why pi has to be in it. 111.1 radians. Okay, multiply by 180, divide by pi. Even though pi wasn't in the original one, you still got to divide by pi to get the answer. And it's huge. Look at that. 6,365.6 degrees. Because a radian is quite large when you think about it. Because if one radian would be 180 divided by pi, pi is around about 3.14, etc. So when you think about it, a radian is actually quite large. So there's just some questions there on converting radians and playing around with the exact values in terms of radians and things like that.